How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my Let's Play Talos Principle series. Today we're going to be jumping into, not that one, that one, World C6. So we got three red sigils and one star. Let's go. Alright, so let's start with the computer terminal. Probably just local files. We'll get the beeping to stop. And ooh, we got a, uh, what are these things? Time capsule. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. But you should know, yes, this was my idea, my project. But so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. That if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this, I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's jump into our first sigil puzzle. Circumlocution. Circumlocution. Okay. Um, so right off the bat, we've got a connector, a blue generator, and a force field door. We'll open that. Uh, we've got a jammer over here. That's nice. We can jam this and get another connector. Let's jam that one. Let's use the generator, the connector to connect the generator to the receiver. And then move this one around. What's that going to buy us? Ah, it's going to buy us a box. Anything else over here? Another door, another force field to get through. So now we can take our jammer. Come through, let's see. Um, if we do this, hey, look at that. We can get through that window. Can we connect these two? Yes, we can. All right. <laughs> Another one. So I get the feeling we're going to have to do a lot of like window connections here. I don't see another connector. <clears throat> um, oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's hold this one open and then we can jam it from the other side. Get the jammer over there because we don't need this force field to stay open. jam that. Oh boy. We got one more. Oh look! A connector. Nice. You know what? I bet... I bet we need to do this to get the jammer inside. Because I bet if we just open that... Yeah, there's that mine. That mine is in the way. We got one more in a mine. My goodness. Um, let's see. Let me see. Let's bring this back over here with us. Let me try something. I'm gonna try something. Ooh, you know what? We can jam that. Now we can move this. What if we do this? And then if we jam that open, what does that do for us? It oh 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 that lets us move this connector. No, no, because that was holding that one open. Either way, I think we can move this connector in. So we've got two connectors over here now. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do this. That'll hold the door open. Move the jammer inside. Now we can bring this one. Yeah. Okay, okay, I think we got it. Now we can jam, whoa, the mine. And bring this last connector inside with us. There we go. Excellent. Excellent day. Now you'll notice there's a star over there. I don't see anything that we benefit from the connector, but we can jam that open. So once we get around to the other side, we should be able to get to the star. Nice. Let's go ahead and head that way. Let's go ahead and do that before we like accidentally reset something. The seven doors of recording. Okay. Um, so we can open that. We can jam that. There's yet more. <laughs> we can save ourselves a little bit of trouble if we do that. So we can place the jammer on a pressure plate to open one force field and then jam the next one. Oh, and you know what? If we're really clever... We can get two doors with this one connector. Which means... Wow, look at that! Look at that! Now, if we record... These things will stay there and future us... Well, our recording... <laughs> look at this! Our recording can actually come hold this door open, then future us can bring the connector and the jammer. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Alright, so recording... Let's go stand on this last pressure plate. We'll hold that open. And we'll just give future cells, future us, a little chance to bring the connector over to open that one, and then the jammer to open the last one. And I think that'll do it. So let's go ahead and connect these to that. Oh, 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 you know what? That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to do it slightly differently, and I need to hurry now, because we don't have line of sight on that connector. So let me jam that, and then we'll just use this to, <laughs> to open the pressure plate. There we go. Yeah, I didn't have line of sight on that receiver and the other connector over there. We had line of sight on the generator, but there were all those beams getting in our way, and so we couldn't have connected it. Now, oops, let's get our connector back. Jam that open, use that on the pressure plate, and we've got the force field being jammed from over there. Nice! Excellent. And thank goodness for that fence opening to let us out on the other side. Alright, one more sigil. Two-way street. Ooh, some floating mines. We haven't run across those in a while. Some guns. What do we got in here? We got a jammer. We're gonna need a lot more than that to solve this one. Alright, let's start with this, since that's all we got. We got two mines floating back and forth. We can squeeze through here. We got another jammer. Nice. Um, let's head back and pick up our first jammer. That way we've got both on this side. Now let's open that. Jam it from the other side. We're just going to keep daisy chaining our jammers, just bringing them forward with us. The layout of this puzzle looks like one from like World A, I think. This seems very, very familiar. Whoa. Let's jam that. This one can be turned off with a switch, it looks like. Yep. And then, what do we got over here? Oh, keys. Okay. Yeah, there was a locked door back there. So 
this should unlock that. Let's bring our jammers back with us. Kind of unwind here a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and jam these mines just so that they don't sneak up on us. Go through this door. We've got one more gun and a force field. Is it going to be as easy as just jamming both of those? I guess so. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. All right, so that's all three sigils and the star. It looks like our friend is back online. Despite your inability to pick a line and stick with it, I have decided to give you the benefit of the doubt. I will share with you the details of a proposal. It will serve as a test of your commitment to these uh, sceptical sceptical claims. Oh, sorry, skeptical. Yeah, I, I can read English, I promise. Uh, if you believe what you say, then I have no doubt you will find its terms satisfactory. If you make it to the top of the tower, I want you to take me with you. I want you to share with me what you find. What? How? I thought you didn't believe in all that. What are you offering in return? Uh, let's ask what you're offering in return. In exchange, I offer to accompany you wherever it is you wind up. Be it this world or another, we all need a devil's advocate, a voice of reason. I offer to be yours. I accept. Aren't you playing that role already? <laughs> And if I don't like the terms, um, let's ask if we don't like the. Mm. Let's just accept. I mean, aren't you playing that role already? Yes, but inside of this simulation that we're in, he wants us to bring him with us. It's totally different. Let's just accept. Very good. I know you'll be a reliable partner. When the time is right, you'll know what to do. See you at the summit. All right. That's exciting. Um, throughout this game, we've had a lot of interactions with that entity and a lot of different conversation choices, and not all of them lead to this point where he asks us to take him with him. I don't remember which ones are sort of the key conversation pieces, but there's, there's a few here or there that you have to make the right decision to get to this point. And so I'm really glad that we got there because I don't remember what those are. So that's really exciting. That's going to come into play when we actually ascend the tower at the very end of this game. It doesn't it doesn't really change anything. It just it unlocks an achievement, which I've already unlocked, so that's not anything special. But it just I don't know. It's it's a nice little bonus to one of the endings. So that's going to wrap up World C6. We've got one more level to complete. That will be C7. And then and then we'll actually be able to complete the first ending of this game. So that'll be next episode. Next episode we'll do C7 and we will exit through the golden gates of salvation over here or whatever these are supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please hit that like button. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe so you'll get notified of future episodes as they come out. Thanks y'all and have a great day.